Well, look at this Easter bank holiday weather. Isn't it fantastic? So Bertie and I are going to fly down to Sandown on the Isle of Wight to soak up some rays, eat a bag of chips and play the amusements. And guess who's coming with us? It's only YouTube's plain old Ben. He's down south for some training, giving us a rare opportunity to fly together. What's our plan? Let's go to Sandown. Lovely. It's I all right, isn't it? There's a little... I like her, yeah. She's good. And he's actually quite excited to see the famous Golf Oscar Romeo, the PA28 I have a share in. The famous Oscar Romeo. I'm, I'm excited to, to see it. It is fun, isn't it, to see yeah. TV aeroplanes. Yeah, I like a John, I approve. Good man. Hi. Let's go for a trip. No problem. This is me leaving, I let you win. Ben and I haven't flown much together at all, and so this is a real treat. He's recently obtained a frozen ATPL after much hard work. This effectively means he can now apply for commercial airline jobs. I'm hoping he can give me some valuable feedback on my piloting today. Oh, Oscar Romeo, left turn, runway 08 right, cliff takeoff, so swing is variable four knots. Left turn, cliff takeoff, 08 right, golf Oscar Romeo. Okay, happy? Hey, firm. Temperatures and pressures are stable, power set. Downhill we go. Ah. Temperatures and pressures still fine. Airspeed's coming alive now. 15 knots it's going to want to go. She comes. Very nice, John. A little bit of a short field. Yeah, it's good. But, uh, just guard the throttle for me. Hey, I'm just going to trim. Cheers. Door throttle. So we've got a thousand to go. Just about across the motorway. Two hundred feet. Yeah, not as hazy as I thought, which is nice. I thought it was going to be rather hazy. Just going to bring our flaps up. Okay, flaps up, temperatures and pressures green, absent suction, no warnings. And we've passed the farm. Go. Radio Tower, student Golf Bravo, Golf Fox X8, outbound circuits. Student Golf Bravo, Golf Take off time, Fox, Ten. Desire, Delta to Delta 3, then left across the grass to holding point Golf 1. 500 to go. Let's go across Delta, Delta 3, and then Delta, uh, Golf 1. Uh, Golf 300 Delta. to go. 200 to go. You only need a light, a little distraction, something not quite right and your, take, your eyes are taken off the altimeter. Oh yeah, tell me about it, multi-engine IR, yeah. <laughs> uh, 140 knots. Yeah. It's uh, high stress. I bet. So we're top of climb. Gonna keep the fuel pump on because we're quite low level. And this is the junction BRP up here. Is that the one you posted the photo of the other yeah, day? Yeah, yeah. And we're running the engine quite hard. Looking for anything joining. Going outside in and limited at two and a half, aren't we? I think. Yeah. Oh, lovely. Yeah, pretty good fizz actually. Not bad. Terrible, wasn't it, earlier in the week? Yeah, it's really bad. Oscar Romeo Junction, and request frequency change, Farber Radar 125, decimal 250. Golf Oscar Romeo, Roger, Squawk 7000, free call, Farber 125, 250, bye-bye. Squawk 7000, Golf Oscar Romeo, goodbye. Farber Radar, Golf Q. Hello, we can accept a climb now, so uh, it's just the listening score, uh, it was 4572, would you mind? Golf Stuart, Juliet Alpha November, Roger, just confirm your Blackbush to Thruxton, report your altitude. Blackbush to Thruxton. 
2,800 feet, Golf Alpha November. Golf Alpha November, Roger the Q and H1030, 0431, basic service. All right, so in the back there, Bertie. Q and H1030, yeah. Good man. Golf Alpha November. Golf India Delta State. It's quite a low inversion layer now, yeah, isn't it, actually? Yeah, nice under the sun. Again, Into the sun. The Golf Victor Oscar India Delta, Thruxton to Taken Hill. Uh, routing uh, Delta Tango Yankee, then direct uh, Tate Hill, now altitude 3,000 feet on 1030, climbing altitude 4,000 feet, basic service, please. So it's Golf an India Epsom Delta, race course over there. there. Oh, lovely. 0435, basic service. Uh, basic service, QNH 1030, say again the squawk, please. Golf India Delta, squawk 0435. 0435 on the score, Golf India Delta. Golf India Delta, if you're reaching five, confidence, be aware that Chilton Park is active with, lunch, with uh, <laughs> power dropping. Yeah, thank you. We'll uh, route to the west, in which case it's Golf India Delta. Going along here. Yeah, give yourself a nice buffer for the Class A. Couple of Got half an event, the reset score 0435. Couple of hundred feet. So, uh, welcome aboard, plane old Ben! Thank you for having me. It's nice to be here. It's nice to be flying down south. I wanted to fly around here for a while. I've not flown... Uh, you've, you've passed by, haven't you? Yeah, when we came out of Biggin a couple of years ago now, isn't it? With my direction indicator not working today, I'm relying on the wobbly compass for setting my heading instead. Because the compass is unreliable in turns, you have to use one of two methods to ensure you roll out on the correct course. I prefer the timed turn method, where if you use a standard rate turn, you will change course by three degrees per second. Uh, so we're going around to Roger. 214. November, so that's, November, what are we, 25? We're 25, we're, we're, two five. we're going around to 214, that's about 10 seconds, isn't it? Yeah, you just do 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, discount it, yeah, so you're looking at 10, 20 seconds. Golf Bravo Alpha, Farnborough. Golf Bravo Alpha, okay. Golf Bravo Alpha, just to facilitate jet traffic. Oh, it's UNOS, no undershoot yeah, North, overshoot. I'm not a fan of that method, are you? Uh, well, it depends, there's two types, so you've got time turns and compass turns, so if you're going to have to do a time turn, then that's one type. If you're going to have to do a compass turn, then you're not allowed to time it, you have to fly it on the compass. So my multi-engine IR had to do both skills test. Um, but what you can do is, if you've got some things in the cockpit to look, so if you've got to do a compass turn, you can use uh, what you have available to help. So, you know, if, if he forgets to change the GPS, if he forgets to, you know, cover everything up. You can use that as your preference. To enhance your situational awareness. And why not? That's what you do in real life, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. It's funny that on the multi-engine IR, one of the things I was mostly worried about was the time, the, the general handling, time turns and compass turns, because they're, they're, they're not easy to do. And it's a lovely part of the world down here. Yeah, not that you can see much of it today. Uh, you can see a good bit. So our arrival in there, so it's going to be 04, uh, what's the runway? 05, which will be a left downwind probably join. Uh, yeah. Hang on, where am I? Going the wrong way. Yeah, left downwind, so we're coming from the north, left downwind for 05. Yeah, uh, only about 10 minutes away, aren't we? Um, uh, Is that right? Heading, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Zero, one, two degrees, just to avoid that. That's amazing, three. isn't it? We're actually... 10 minutes! 119280. Off your right-hand side now, northbound, no height. Keep that lookout going, because I think it is really busy down here. And who will you uh, talk to around here? Will you go on to... I could go to, to Bournemouth Lars, but it's almost not worth it. Well, I, I, it's not worth it. I could put in Southampton uh, radar as a as a listening squawk. Which I might put in now. Uh, one two zero oh, two three. Put one two zero. Oh. And would you go to Goodwood if, with us going no, near Goodwood? Not, not at this height. I mean to listen out or not? I'm well, about six miles west to be fair. Uh, so that's Solent radar one two zero two three zero. And seven zero one one. And then I've got. That's the thing. You get focused on changing frequencies, and you do, you stop looking. Yeah, but, the, but you have to set the aircraft up for your approach. So you yeah. know, you can't look out all the time. No. You just got to, You've got to take things step by step. Yeah. Break it up. That's the thing. I try. I try really hard. But um, let's put to sound down in here so we can listen and hear how busy it is. One one nine two eight zero. 
Listen across that. Got no airspace to affect here, as long as we don't go west. Should be fine. If this is improving rounds here. That, do you brief off the pool, leaf? Yeah. And it's zero five. Which direction? Runway zero five, left hand circuit. November three 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 Delta Echo, turn zero right, five, heading hand, two zero zero degrees. Two zero zero degrees. Um, Gotham from Bravo. Sandown Radio, Golf Bravo, Hotel Oscar Romeo, we're inbound, uh, haven't, uh, 3,200 feet, 1029, I request aerodrome information. Yeah, our station, can you repeat your full call sign? It's uh, Golf Bravo, Hotel Oscar Romeo, inbound. Uh, Golf Bravo, Hotel Oscar Romeo, the runway 05 left, QFE 1029 now. 05 left. QFE 1029, uh, Golf Oscar Romeo. Thank you, Bravo. So, I am not very good with these uncontrolled aerodromes. Yep. So my plan, I mean, I'm going to listen carefully now, but... So the easiest thing to think with uncontrolled airfields is, get yourself in the overhead and see what's happening. Really? Is what I do initially. So, one is the traffic, obviously, if there's loads of traffic going in there, um, if there's loads of traffic going in there, then, you know, stay a little bit higher up, maybe, initially, but just get yourself into the overhead, have a little look, and just and just look what's going on. And then, um, just make the safe decision. So, an overhead joint is a nice way to join, because it lets you look at the runway, look at the condition of the runway, look at the wind stop, all that sort of stuff. So that, that's how I will, I've always been taught them at these uncontrolled airfields, is just get yourself in the overhead, have a little look what's going on, join overhead, and then you're okay. Monitor the traffic situation, um, and be clear about where you are inbound and outbound. So, um, you know, you could say coasting in to join uh, overhead. Yeah. So that just, you know, provides the other guys in the area a bit more situational awareness, and just verbalise your intentions in advance. If it's quiet, then you could... Um, let's see what's going on, because we might be able to make a downwind join, but let's yeah. see... But you're going to have to commit at, uh, at a point, so don't uh, get there and then change your mind last minute because no. that's going to create... That's what uh, I did last time. Yeah, oh, where was that? That was... Um, oh, Turbiston, was it? Turbiston, yeah. yeah. So you just stick to your decision, because learning all about human factors now that have to... If that, and you watch all these videos and you get taught that it's one little thing that creates a knock-on effect, so... And as well, it, what's the point of changing your plan last minute because it will save, what, two minutes? Yeah. It's quiet, but I don't know. Yeah, well, if it's quiet, then just, uh, we left hand circuit, zero 05. Yeah. Well, just ask him, has he got any traffic in the area joining? Or does he know of any? Go for Oscar Romeo, uh, sand down. Uh, do you have any traffic in the circuit at the moment? Yeah, we have uh, one inbound at the moment. So yeah, just say, Roger, we'll reach join overhead. Oh, Roger, uh, Golf Oscar Romeo, we'll join overhead, just about to coast in at ride. Oscar Romeo, right. Because, uh, you know, the issue you'll get so there is if you, if, if you don't, so you know, final. you don't know where he is. So he's, yeah. he's now, if we're going to come downwind, he's now going to be upwind and then turn and it into us. So, and when you're in the overhead, if he's in the circuit, you just alter your spacing um, to join nicely behind him. Yeah. Nice and chill. Okay. So it's down there. Yeah, so give it a wide berth and just uh, you know have a bit of a nosy. So I don't like on control fields. You I do. don't know. Fuel is on. Radio is tuned. Engine temperatures and pressures in the green DI is broken. We're on the right tank, which is the fullest, and altimeter we're on QFE one zero two nine. So would you come down to two thousand above now? I can see the field, I think. I mean, as well, you know, we've got a little bit of altitude on, so you can carry your speed a bit, and then, um, you know, heading overhead, and then just, we're in a nice position here to be coming in for a, a joint Head side, overhead. Yeah. yeah. yeah.
really tricky one joining airfields like this where they're uncontrolled and you've got to work out your own separation for departure against the flow. So it's it's my problem is hearing what's going on and then and building up the picture. Yeah, I yeah. find that very hard. Well, there should be one guy uh, crosswind now for downwind. There's one guy holding. Really? Holding, ready for departure. Oh, ready for departure. Yeah. Sorry. So one's just landed and come off, and one's ready for departure. That's what I understand at the moment. All right, cool. So we can just join, you know, straight overhead, really, can't we? Yeah. And I've got one uh, on a taxiway. It's not on the runway. And this is like a chap holding, isn't it? And then I'd just say, like, Golf Oscar Romeo, two miles to the north, join overhead. Golf Oscar Romeo, two miles to the north, uh, we'll join overhead. Romeo, right. Right, there's one uh, just climbing out, or on the... Turning across the This must be... He's heading out, I think. Oh, OK, cool. Didn't hear him. Must be on his way out, I would have thought. Yeah. Transiting. Yeah, he's climbing up to the coast. It's no factor, don't worry. Oscar Romeo, overhead, descending dead sign, zero five. Oscar Romeo, overhead. Yeah, we're getting a good look at the airfield, we're looking at the wind sop, seeing what's happening, you know, it's a... Uh... I'm a fan of the overhead joint. So it's a slight left crosswind. Which seems odd. But we'll have a look. Oh, so daisy. Any, uh, no, can't see any of the traffic in the circuit. And the visit improved nicely on the house, and it's good. Yep, all looking clear to the right. And you just say turning downwind or is downwind, yeah. you know? Off Oscar Romeo, downwind, runway zero 05 to land. Oscar Romeo, we're here. Textbook, John, textbook. <laughs> It's quite, you can still join by the overhead, I still do it because I usually try and have a bit of height on, um, you know, I don't like flying along low and keep the height on, build up the picture of what's happening, you know. I'm out of the out now and the QS flying route. Okay, well, Roger, stay for me. Base zero five to land. Prime Mirror. I just let you know the Spitfire is about at the moment. Right. Fabulous. <laughs> Where? Oh, no, don't worry about it. It's not going to be in the circuit, is he? Was that what we saw, Ra? Uh... Hey, approach is clear, sir. Uniform Bravo, descending dead side. Uniform Bravo, Russia. Office Romeo, final zero 05 to land. What's that? Is that the. Office Romeo, Russia. Is that the new uh, AstroTurf? Yeah, maybe I'd go on the right hand side of that person. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 
a bit high actually, aren't we? Yeah, a little we bit high. Probably going to lose it. No, yeah, it's fine. The trend is we're decelerating, so we're all good. You're probably going to need a little power in the undershoot, maybe, but I just keep it idle for now. Slight left crosswind, runway's clear, we're clear to land. Well, we're not clear to land. Look at that, what a good guess about that power. <laughs> well done. The neck is busy. Is it? I think they've all come to see you, John. <laughs> Fabulous. Oscar Romeo, unable to vacate to your right of the southern taxiway. Right, southern taxiway, Golf, Oscar Romeo. So it's good to be back at Sandown. Lovely weather here, very busy already. Um, we're going to be here till lunch, we're going to have some chips on the beach. It was good to have. Uh, Ben's input on my landing, still always a little bit tentative coming into an uncontrolled field like this, but uh, yeah, it was helpful to have, have someone more experienced than me give me a few tips. After lunch, Ben and Bertie enjoyed the amusements on Sandown Pier, and then we soaked up some sun on the beach. Bertie covered himself in sand as usual. The return trip was equally as enjoyable as the outbound flight. I'll be back soon. Share, like and subscribe please. Fly safely my friends.